In the coal mining capital of Queensland, bright futures are being forged, not underground, but in the classroom. Welding, grinding, building stuff. It's just what I've grown up doing, being around, welding, fencing, cattle work. Clara Hanton moved from Yapoon to Blackwater State High School for the opportunity to study a certificate two in engineering. Once I leave year 12, that's what I want to do when I'm older. I want to go into that industry, so this here helps, this course. A course that was almost scrapped after the high school unexpectedly lost two staff. With a statewide shortage of manual arts teachers, they had to get creative. We're in a bit of despair because it's just such a valued and well-liked subject here and we're going, we can't not have it. And so we did throw it out there. I have had links with the mines for a very long time. And our school has had links for a very long time with the mines and we said, if we don't ask, we'll never know. And Cameron Cox answered the call. Well, basically all my life I've been around machinery, so I've been out at Blackwater Mines since um, Halloween in 1984, so coming up 37 years this year. The reliability engineer now volunteers his Thursdays to teach the tradespeople of tomorrow. I was a bit scared at start and I had, they say, oh, have a bit of a think about it and they didn't give me much time to think about it and I said, no, I'll do it. Came in here and then found out what it was all about and, and from there, you know, I enjoy it, I love it and the tooling and gear we've got is is second to none, you know. We've, they've got things here that we haven't even got out in the mine, so very lucky. Bringing his four decades of industry experience into the classroom, alongside fellow BMA employee and former Blackwater High student, Duncan Head. Duncan literally came on board because of a conversation I had with him. You know, he said, your teacher's gone, what are you doing? And, and I said what we were doing, and I said, hey, if you want to come on in and help out, and he, he was very keen to do so. It's a bit of a surprise to me. I asked Miss Godfrey, Miss Godfrey didn't have um, any teachers at the school, and I'm like, okay, I'll come in and help out every second week where I can. The third year apprentice diesel fitter keen to give back to a school that gave him so much. If you can help someone out to be better than you, that's the best thing you can do. And the biggest thing is if you don't want to learn, no one will teach you, but if you're willing to learn, anyone will teach you, the world's your oyster. If they want to do it, they'll go out and chase it and grab the bulls by the horn and just wrestle the bull down. So they bring what they know from the workforce into the school and helps everyone get better understanding of the trade industry. There's one boy, we taught him oxy well, and I just showed him how to do it, and I said, you go and do it, come back. And he came to me in half an hour with a big smile on his face showing me this really good oxy well he'd done and he'd never even done it before. So it's a good stepping stone that, and gives you a bit more real world experience. Unearthing skills that will last a lifetime.